so the tool that you see in front of you that's what informatica mdm is now let me give you a brief introduction on what exactly is mdm and then we'll jump ahead and we'll try to see what other tools are there in the market and then i'll give an overview of what is informatica i mean how the interface looks like and all that so all right now what is mdm mdm is nothing but master data management so i'm sure you'd have done google you would have googled that but what is what is master data management master data management it's nothing but you will see that there are a lot of duplicates i'll not go much deeper into that because in this tutorial i'll be just going through the uh, tool that's the uh, idea here now but anyway so master data management so what exactly is master data master data is nothing but data um, it's it's removal of duplicates so when you have let's say customer who has taken a credit card a customer has taken a debit card a customer has taken a has taken a personal loan and other things so now we have uh, we have a guy called as uh, john okay so john and he is from a system called as credit card and then you've got a guy called as uh, in the debit card you have a guy called as uh, john k john k and then we have another system called as the personal loan so in this personal loan uh, personal loan we've got a guy called as john k smith and there are a lot of other fields as well like the date of birth gender bank account number other stuff which i have not uh, written okay now see so you the guy is the same guy so john k smith that's the correct guy he has taken a credit card debit card personal loan all the three stuff but the problem is his data is different in different places so that's the headache that's the problem now that's what master data does master data management does so mdm what it does is it has the software it has the matching system through which it identifies that all these guys they are the same it's the same person and then it creates one unique one best version one golden version that's the master data okay and the software that does it that's the master data management software so um, and talking about different softwares that we have in mdm we got um, we got many things like we got informatica mdm there are uh, over 30 players in uh, the mdm market so informatica mdm leads the way and then you got other MDM tools like in IBM MDM, then you got Siebel MDM, which is dead. So Siebel MDM is dead, um, out of the market right now. And then you got uh, like uh, Kalido, you got Orchestra MDM, you got, um, and, and don't mind the spelling, I don't have time for that. Um, then we got Talent, um, then we got uh, Kalido, Reltio. Well, there are many many tools that are there so we got tipco mdm data data mdm pretty much like every big guy i mean every big vendor they have their own tool now we're going to be talking about ibm mdm uh, later but uh, in this session we'll be talking about informatica mdm more so let's get started so this is the tool the great thing about this tool is you just need um, a single tool so unlike other softwares where you have multiple tools let's say if i take an example of informatica power center so informatica power center so in informatica power center you got many different tools like you say you got repository manager you got a mapping designer workflow designer other stuff and admin console so there are four plus one five tools out there but this thing is very very simple you got this one that's called as the informatica mdm hub console this tool and then you've got another thing called as idd informatica data director so it's more of a data governance tool and if you don't know what's data governance just let's just say it's kind of like kind of reporting not exactly we'll talk about that in uh, later phases now anyways so so let's let's see this tool so this is what it looks like and you see you got two things the configuration this is one part and then the model so this is the another part so you see whatever is there in the configuration that's basically the administration part so whatever you see here they're all admin stuff okay and whatever you see below that's all development stuff so you see the model you see the sam security access manager data steward utilities all that stuff that's all development all right now if i go deeper here and uh, just connect to the master database i'll be talking about what exactly is master database and an ors later but let's just see this so basically it's nothing but 
these are all my different environments so what is class one class two class three it's like different environments for example let's say class one is development environment then class two is nothing but let's say my testing environment and this one is like my uat environment so different different environments we've got and then we got like users this is the place where you create users it's quite simple and easy you take a lock and then you go ahead and just create a user like a dummy just joking so let's just create some dummy guy not dummy like me but yeah see okay just give uh, same dummy over okay so you can see it was very easy to create a user so we got this dummy guy so all right if you want to log in you can log in and check but this thing is very easy you can easily understand what it does users and security providers are something but uh, something like where if you want to implement LDAP or external authentication then uh, LDAP or uh, Microsoft Kerberos or Active Directory um, there are a lot of different implementations that you can do but basically what I'm trying to say is let's say if I am working for uh, ASA let's say 24 then uh, let's say uh, Sony let the date of ASA 24 something then this is my ID now see I want to log in using this ID you get it now uh, how do I log in in this tool when I log in I'm giving admin and admin this is what I'm giving here so the this is the internal user but let's say I want to use my corporate ID to log in into this tool so if I want to do that then I have to enable the external authentication so how do I enable external authentication it's a long story we'll be talking about that later but it's quite simple because you don't have to do anything it will be done by the administrator we got something called as a sysadmin so sysadmin will configure this particular thing and once he's done then he'll give you a jar file what's a jar file that also we'll talk about it later because it's a java archive file we will be generating our own jar files for user exit programs and other stuff right so, so that's what this does that's what this external authentication is now then we got something like tool access so here you give access on different things like uh, if, it, uh, if there's a guy who is a developer and you want him to access only the development stuff that is controlled over here the tool access the message queues it's a bit of an advanced thing but what is message queue message queue is see if you're not aware of this there is something called as a batch mode batch mode and there's something called as real time mode okay we got two things batch mode and the real time mode in the batch mode we will be using this thing like source then we got something like etl then we got something like mdm then we got etl then we got the target it's quite simple this one but in this case in case of real time we will not be using the etl anymore but what we will be using is we will be using here the sif services integration framework so this is nothing but uh, what is sif sif is set of apis if you ask me in one word if you let's say you got something like pm cmd pm wrap stuff like that so it's the equivalent of that thing in mdm that's what it does and in here we got something like the message queues so message queues so that's what message queues is it's basically used to publish data in real time that's what it does repository manager is quite simple what it does is it is used for promotion of code from one environment to another let's say you have developed something in dev environment and you want to save that to the testing environment then that's what we use this tool for so the repository manager enterprise manager is a bit boring but it's quite useful for an administrator where you can see all the things in a single place single point so quite useful i will say it's very useful so you especially this one where you can configure the um, the platform staging where you can you uh, using which you will uh, use the idq to load the data directly into the staging tables which we will see and then the repository workflow manager which is moreover like uh, integrating an uh, bpm that's nothing but active voice software with mdm so we will see that and then when i move on to the model so here we got a lot of things so let's say let let me log into an environment let's say or sample then you see these the tables the all the tables are here 
so who will be creating these tables you you will be creating these tables because by default informatica this tool does not come with any configuration any tool so you have to create all that tool and then you got schema viewer where um, you, will, you can see the whole data model of all that stuff all right it's quite simple so here i go one minute so this is the data model the data model that was created i mean you will be creating this stuff and then the trust trust is nothing but the survivorship policy that we have and the systems so let's say a and mdm uh, mdm implementation um, is taking data from 10 different sources so these are all nothing but those 10 different sources right and then we got queries what's query query is nothing but it's just a database query so select star from emp the most basic query that you've ever seen in your life that's what this is so this you can see here it's uh it's nothing but just a query right so why is it useful what is it used for we will see that later and the packages so this is more of a not more of a this is exactly view so you see view you see the view in database create view as a query so this is what it is it's simple cleanse functions so we got different cleanse functions so this is used for the data quality stuff let's say i want to convert uh, uh i want to remove the spaces let's say i'll go here and i'll just say uh real, then space then k all right now test it so you can see the output the surreal the spaces are gone all the spaces and then you got only one space here it's quite simple and the mappings so these are all the uh, different mappings mapping is something that loads data from landing table to the staging table or in plain english it's something that handles the data quality stuff you got data quality issues that's all that stuff is handled here and you got hierarchies what's in hierarchy hierarchy is let's say there are uh, two companies this let's say cisco and cisco cloud cisco cloud is a subsidiary of cisco so understanding seeing that thing visually that's what hierarchies are so for example if i explain in a single word so see here so this is something let's say if i show you a product hierarchy which is quite simple and easier to understand so let's see a product hierarchy this one and all right so you click here and just say okay see here so this is what is the product hierarchy you see all products if i take a single product you can easily understand what this does so you got a mouse uh, then you got a design controller the mouse uh, one minute so this is reporting your design controller then that is reporting to a mice plus pointers uh, then to all products okay it's quite simple so it's more of like if you got something iphone iphone x that's rep that reports to iphone iphone reports to apple mobiles apple mobile reports to apple all products that's the hierarchy it's quite simple easy important for all the companies okay we got data manager merge manager these are used for manipulation data manipulation manually merging unmerging the records and then you got batch viewer batch group and these are nothing but this is used for running the jobs so if you want to run a single job you do that in the batch viewer if you want to run the batch in the jobs in a group then you got something called as the batch uh, group it's a workflow kind of concept that we have here then the process server which is equivalent to the integration services that you have in power center this is the same thing that we have here and then the audit manager which is a uh, if you want to audit the records like who is entering data and uh, like how data is coming into your system is going out in the real-time interface then that can be audited and that's what is done here and then the safe manager and user will be talking about this later so in this short session we understood what are all the things that are there in informatica mdm and in the uh, so just check out the other sessions the uh, play playlist that i've created which covers all the things step by step on informatica mdm how it's all done all those logics all right guys so um, uh, I, I think i took a lot of time so sorry for that all right now I've, i'm finished with this session thanks thank you very much for listening and if you like my video please uh, comment update i mean uh, sorry comment like 
share subscribe thanks guys thank you very much